Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boric. And we just had an NHL trade in the works as Tyler Toffoli goes from the Montreal Canadiens to another Canadian team, stays up there in Canada to the Calgary Flames in a much better situation for himself. The sniper changes places and goes to the Calgary Flames to join their playoff run as Tyler Pitlick, a 30-year-old forward who has scored 86 points in 311 games of course, played for the Edmonton Oilers, Dallas Stars, Flyers, Coyotes, and the Flames will now play some games for the Canadians. And then Emil Heineman, uh, who has been moved a couple of times before even coming over to North America, drafted in the second round by the Florida Panthers, traded in the Sam Bennett trade, playing well over in Sweden as 11 goals in 36 games. Uh, probably will develop into at least a third-line goal scorer. Skates well, needs to get better in his own end. And he will do that over time. Probably he'll come over in his 22 age season at most. Uh, drafted in the second round. A nice solid winger. Uh, 185, 6'1". Uh, he's going to be a good pickup. And then they got Tyler Pitlick, who's just a perfect guy for a rebuilding team, right? Because he just plays the game with that energy of a ox. And is just going to bring the right mindset to the locker room and to the ice each night in and night out, or day in and day out, depending what time you're playing the game. But Heinemann and Pitlick are good pickups. Obviously, Heinemann's the potential guy that they're hoping develops and becomes a guy that's a mainstay in their top nine and maybe potentially top six uh, going forward as time goes on two, three years, whatever, down the line here as a former second-round pick in the 2020 draft. But in terms of the trade for Toffoli. Toffoli has scored 370 points in 614 regular season games. He has 182 goals in his career. Obviously, uh, the man's going to get to 200 goals in his career. This year, he has nine goals and 17 assists and 26 points in 37 games. So, he's doing immensely great for a team lacking offensive um, output in the Montreal Canadiens and help to be able to consistently help him around him. He's still having a good season. So I think obviously going to a much better star-studded um, lineup uh, with the uh, Calgary Flames is really going to immensely help Tyler Toffoli. Is now he is on a team destined for a playoff run, going from a uh, excuse me, a Montreal Canadiens team that is abysmal this year. Emil Heineman will continue to play in Sweden, and of course Tyler Pitlick will go in and bring that great energy to the Canadians. It's going to be interesting to see what line uh, they put They put um, Tyler Toffoli on. I want to see, let me see if Cap Friendly updated it yet, And we're, because it will be interesting to see if they put him on the Goudreau line and just stack up there and have Johnny Goudreau, who's obviously an elite level passer, uh, just be able to send it across to Tyler Toffoli. Or what the idea would be there, or if they put him to add more offense to the third line, because their top two has been playing well. Coleman's been playing like a bat out of hell this year. Maggi Apani's one of the most underrated in hockey. Um, and then Dylan Doobie's a bo very good bottom um, six forward and a good top niner. Uh, Tyler Toffoli right now they have on the third line, it says, is it loaded up with Sean Monahan and Dylan Doobie. So that would be good. That add, If that's the case, that's going to add tremendous depth with Goudreau, Lindholm, Kachuk, Maggi, Pani, Bachlin, Coleman. Then you got Dubé, who could score in a third-line role. Uh, Monaghan, who scores above a third-line role, but is playing a third-line role. Um, well, has the potential to score, I should say, above a third-line role. This year, he's scoring more like a third-liner. And then Tyler Toffoli, who is scoring above a third-line role, but will be playing a third-line role, and potentially slide with Coleman every now and again uh, between the second and third line. And it gives the, the um, Calgary Flames a lot more depth is they look to try to move from second in the first place um, over there. And uh, I think they obviously will have a good chance to do it, adding Tyler Defoley. They're only one point behind the Vegas Golden Knights in the Pacific right now, and they have the better points percentage um, of 644 to having only played 45 games to Vegas is 48. But I hope you all enjoyed this recap of the trade. I think Emil Heinemann will be a very good pickup in two to three years stretch when he starts playing for the Canadians coming over from Sweden. And then... You'll probably see him with Laval uh, sooner, and he'll probably play well there as well.
And then Tyler Pitt looks a perfect guy for a rebuilding team. Tyler Defoe is a perfect guy for a team looking to push and even get above the Vegas Golden Knights potentially in the Calgary Flames. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Hope you enjoyed the season thus far. And enjoy the rest of the great NHL season. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget if you have not already to keep us growing to 200 by the end of February. Peace out, everyone.